Well, second year, uh, I'm not sure how much different it was than your first year. I mean, I'm sure it felt a little more comfortable coming back here for your second year. I mean, when you think back, uh, how do you, how do you feel your year went? Uh, well, I feel like uh, it's been a bumpy year this year. Uh, lots of ups and downs with the team, and uh, so with me as well. Um, and uh, I think we need to try to get more consistent, and so do I in my game as well. When it comes to you know being more consistent, just as a team player, as an individual, what are some of the messages that the coaching staff has relayed to you um, to, to help you develop your game? Well, uh, to work a lot of my defense and just my uh, ability to uh, making good plays all the time, and uh, yeah, just try to be more consistent and not as many mistakes. I know you said obviously this year bumpy for the team. I mean, last year you guys were winning a lot of games. You were in second place most of the season. To have to work to get into the playoffs like like the team did is that helpful to you as far as just kind of making sure that you know, hey, it's going to be a tough go sometimes. Yeah, well, I mean, every season is different from another, and uh, last year we won a lot and uh, we played really good uh, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, tough, but sometimes you gotta fight, fight for it. And uh, that's what we did this year, and I think we did play two good games in the playoffs. But uh, yeah, Colorado came out on the top. You've, you've played with a couple of different you know, D partners over the course of the last year, the last two seasons. What are some of the different things you've learned from, from playing with some of these guys? Um, whether they're you know, one of the younger guys in the organization or you know, an older guy like, like Cameron Gauntz. Yeah, well, uh, lots of uh, great players, uh, so I try to, you know, take as much as possible from them and uh, everybody got their own style, uh, but uh, so many good players, so I enjoy playing with uh, all those guys. There's a bunch of guys from Sweden last year, but I feel like there's even more this year. I mean, what's it like to be here but be speaking a lot of Swedish all the time? Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have uh, all the Swedish uh, guys and uh, yeah, being able to have, uh, you know, talk through stuff and uh, just feeling a bit more home almost, but uh, yeah, it's nice to have them. Do you guys talk about home a lot when you're around or is it more just kind of focused on where you're at now in LA? No, focus, focus a lot uh, here right now. Yeah. I know that we talked with Lias and Mo a little bit about their, you know, um, experience playing with each other both here and in the past. What was your experience like with some of the other um, Swedish and European guys that are here? Had you played with any of them before? Did you get to really know any of them before coming here? Uh, so I haven't really played with anybody, no. uh, but I uh, I knew who the guys were and so so it went pretty fast to get to know them and all that. When you look at your off season, what are some of the things you might want to work on? What do you usually do when, when you go home for the summer? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's a lot of work that's going to start uh, right away. And uh, yeah, just uh, getting my body as prepared as possible. That's it. Uh, anything that you like to do when you're not playing hockey at home? Uh, yeah, visit my family and friends and, uh, you know, uh, don't get to see them in uh, a couple of months, so it's uh, nice to have them and uh, get some time with them.